This video will walk you through how to set up your Slack account as well as how to navigate the Slack messaging platform. Slack is a popular business messaging tool that is used by many small medium and large distributed companies around the world. Slack is very popular and there are also many open Slack workspaces for a variety of industries and topics that you can join as well. Just Google them to find out more. We will use Slack to connect you with your certified remote work professional class program coordinator and other participants in your cohort. To join the remote work certificate workspace on Slack you will need to go to module 0 in Canvas. Open the prepare for success assignment and go to step 2. Find the Slack invitation link and click on it. The link will direct you to slack.com where you can create your account and join the remote work certificate workspace. You can choose to sign in using your Google account, Apple account or your email address. Please use the same email here that you used to sign up for the course. Please also enter your full name. Then click on continue with email. Slack will send a verification code to your email. Check your email for this code. Copy the code from the email. Then paste it into the Slack verification code screen. If you have the Slack desktop app already installed on your computer, you can choose to open this workspace in your Slack app, or you can choose to open Slack in your browser instead. Click on Let's do it. Slack allows you to add a few people that you know to your direct messages. You can skip this for now. Slack will give you a short tour of key functions. Slack will also prompt you to send your first message. This would be a great opportunity for you to introduce yourself in the class channel. The class channel will be in the format hashtag, day, month, year. It is named for the first day of the course you are enrolled in. In this example, the class channel is hashtag 06 June 2022. You will use this channel throughout the course to communicate with other class participants and with the program coordinators. Please introduce yourself to the rest of the class, where you're from why you're taking the class and what you're hoping to learn. This channel is used to discuss class-related topics or questions. Slack will continue to prompt you to try new things or teach you more about the program. You can continue to learn or you can close the prompts. If you click on the person image in the top right corner of the window, Slack lets you change your status, tell people that you're away from your desk, change notifications, and view your profile. You can edit your profile to change how your name is displayed, add your profile picture, add a description of what you're doing, add your phone number, and change your time zone. To add your profile picture, click on Upload Photo. Find your profile picture on your computer and then select it. Click Open. Adjust the size of the image and then click the Save button. Adding a description to the section called What I Do, lets others know what you are doing or interested in finding. Feel free to tell people what kind of job you're looking for here. When you're finished, click Save Changes. You can always edit your current status. This lets coworkers easily know if you are available or not and when they might expect to receive a reply to a message. It's good to indicate your status, especially if you're going to be away from your desk or office for an extended period of time. To the left in the Slack window, you will see a list of channels and a section for direct messages. The channels are organized by subject and are designed for group conversations. This is the class channel. If you have questions about the class, it's good to ask them in this channel so that others can benefit from your questions as well. Most of the time, others have the same questions but are hesitant to ask. If your question is private or grade related, it's best to ask in a direct message to your program coordinator. A direct message is private and can be sent to another user in the workspace. You can use this to communicate directly with your program coordinator. All direct messages should be professional and non-offensive. You can click on people or groups listed in the direct message list to send a direct message. Or click on the plus symbol here to search for a person or people to send a message to. You can send a direct message to up to 8 people. Later in the course, you will have a team project. Using a direct message to communicate as a team works really well. The rest of the channels listed here will include everyone in the network who is previously or who is currently taking the remote work certificate course. The Canvas Q&A channel is for technical questions about Canvas functionality or issues. 
The general channel is for general discussion of remote work topics. The job postings channel is reserved for program coordinators to share remote job opportunities. This is not a discussion channel about job postings. If you have questions about a job posting, send a direct message to the program coordinator that posted the job rather than ask in the channel. The program coordinator will decide what should be shared with everyone or not. The meetings channel is for announcements not related to our class workshops. We regularly hold meetings like remote job spotlights, professional development trainings, and other useful skill building sessions for everyone that wants to participate. We'll let you know when and how to access it in this channel. In an office environment, often, co-workers will gather around the water cooler or in the break room and share pictures or talk about something fun they did on the weekend. The random channel in Slack is our virtual water cooler channel. You can share your favorite cat and dog pictures, family pics, talk about fun places you've vacationed, tell dad jokes, or whatever fun facts that you want to share about yourself. We keep all of our channels G-rated, so, please be careful to not post something that might be offensive to others. We will remove anything that might be considered rude or offensive. The sharing channel is for everything related to remote work, articles about remote practices, cool remote office desks, or whatever might be interesting as it relates to remote work. The success story channel is a place for you to share your remote work success. We want to hear about all of your successes big and small. We'd love to hear how the Certified Remote Work Professional course helped you find a better job, find a remote job, or just made your life easier. Please share your stories here in this channel.